somebody living in a, an apartment off campus uh, would have to allow guns into their apartment. This bill is a campus carry, a true campus carry bill. So that's a no. That this bill, this bill, I have other bills, Sandra, we'll get to those. But this one is a true campus carry bill. I, I don't know what true campus carry bill means, so I'm trying to ask. But the NRA's here, they can tell us what a true campus carry bill is. Matter of fact, I mean, they can the floor. This, you, you, this bill does not say that if, if I, I, that I would have to have guns in my residence. This bill doesn't force you to have a gun. Okay. So, back to Senator Bonds, and that's property rights. I have a right to control my premises and my residence, correct? This bill is doesn't force anyone to have a gun, and it does not get into telling you what you can or cannot do other than allowing. Except by law, except let me finish instance. though, but allowing by law that if you're on campus that you can carry there, it's a true campus carry bill. But let me ask my question now. So you have a work you, you pay with your own private dollars to, and I know at U of A at least, the freshman year you have to live in a dorm. And so you pay with your private dollars and that is your apartment, that is your residence. And you do not want guns on your property that you pay for with your private dollars. If you get a roommate assigned, and they do have a gun, and they store guns in your residence, how do you how do you handle that contradiction of property rights, or somebody has a right under the Fifth Amendment to control their property, and the Second Amendment when they're living together? Senator, I think you've made this clear before. There are times we regulate things, and this is one of those times where the college is going to have to abide by the law and allow the difference. I'm not asking about the college. I'm I, I, about let that. me finish my, my sentence. And my sentence is this. If that college has a person that does or does not want guns, then they're going to have to work out the dorm situation. Maybe it's easy to do. They can do that. We work out situations all the time, and I'm telling you, those folks are intelligent enough to do that. They're at a college. And we regulate all the time. And this time, we need to give our rights back to the people to allow them to defend themselves so that nothing bad happens when they're walking on of a campus. If they have a hostile situation, if there is an effort, I wish for my daughter that she had to be armed to make sure that there's not even one chance that someone would want to rape a child on a campus. We need to give the rights back for people to defend themselves. And this bill will allow us to go back to that. I think we need to vote for this bill. We need to take it back to the Senate floor and let the members vote whether or not they want to give truly our Second Amendment supporters and whether they want to give the people that have overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly turned out, and some of them in outrage that we would want to make more restrictions on our Second Amendment when we are the very conservative leadership that has sat there and said we want our Second Amendment rights. So does your bill allow, or if I had my dorm and somebody came in carrying a Colt 45 and I said you can't bring that into my dorm. Under your bill they would say yes I can and I'm going to walk into your dorm and I'm going to carry my gun and you can't do a darn thing about it. Under this bill I disagree because under this bill the second amendment right your rights to defend yourself doesn't mean you get to go on someone else's private property. A dorm, room, a dorm room, excuse me, a dorm room is their private private rooms, and so that is where they live. Someone visiting that room, you don't have to allow them in your room. Where is that in your bill? It says it's, all it's, campus. It says the whole entire. If campus. they don't live there, Senator, they're not going to be forced to allow people into their room. But it's on campus. You have to allow them in your room. You have to decide willingly if you're going to let someone in your room. That argument does not work. That is your room, and you can keep whoever you want to out of it. It's a stupid little so, scenario. I, 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 when I was in a dorm, there was no keeping anybody out. I mean, dorm. Well, maybe that depends on the time of day it was for you there, but I, I have to tell you, most people that does not want someone in their room can keep them out. They're and called you can dorms. do that, and you know that, Senator. This is, I know you don't support... Uh, Campus carry, and you don't support it in its present manner, and that's been very obvious. You've made your statements very clear. 
We are debating a bill again that we, we can go debate all night. I believe in it that much. I believe in my Second Amendment rights and my daughters to defend herself wherever she walks, that it's legal to do so. They're called doors and locks. And I have the right to ask you questions. You don't even get offended by them. I'm not offended. I just said I'm ready to go all night with the debate. I'm good. One last question. I'm just wondering, we're debating your amendment. Where in your amendment does it say that a person's dorm room is protected? The way I read your amendment, the entire campus, regardless of whether somebody's living in a room, regardless of whether somebody doesn't want, the entire campus is a guns zone. That you can go anywhere on that campus. Now, maybe that wasn't the intent. Maybe you intended that if I have a dorm, I can keep somebody out of it who has a gun. But I'm asking, where in, the, where in your amendment does it grant that? Senator Hutchinson, private property rights in the dorm room, I bet you there's a whole lot of rules within that college, and they can make sure that their private property there rights are, are protected. This law is trumping all the rules. Actually, the I disagree with you. I think this allows a person to defend themselves, and it doesn't, doesn't give you an all-out right. And you know that not to enter someone's room if they don't want you there. You can keep people out for whatever reason you want. So I think that this is a bad argument. And I know you don't want it, Senator. But there are people that want their rights. Senator Garner. Hey, Mr. Chairman, I want to 